Conducting a kidney transplant with stem cells has the capability of improving outcomes and decreases the need for some immunosuppressive therapy, according to researchers from the University of Miami. The researchers conducted a randomized trial where patients were treated with stem cells in conjunction with surgery. They discovered that these patients had a decreased incidence of acute rejection compared with others given anti-interleukin-2 receptor antibody induction therapy. According to lead author Camillo Ricordi, these patients also had a reduced risk of infection and saw better renal function a year following the kidney transplant. For the study, researchers followed 159 patients at the Fuzhou General Hospital in China who had end-stage renal disease who were about to undergo a transplant from a living-related donor and assigned each to three random groups. The first group, consisting of 53 patients, received autologous stem cells and standard doses of calcineurin inhibitors but not interleukin-2 antibody therapy. The second group of 53 patients received the same therapy, except that the calcineurin doses were reduced to 80% of standard. One patient did not survive during the follow-up procedure and was excluded from the overall analysis. Lastly, the control group of 53 patients received standard therapy with calcineurin inhibitors and interleukin-2 antibody induction, but received no stem cells. Two other patients did not survive follow-up. Following six months, 11 of the 51 remaining members of the control group had biopsy-confirmed acute rejection. In contrast, only four of the 53 patients who received stem cells and standard calcineurin inhibitors, and four of 52 patients in the low-dose group had acute rejection. The researchers concluded that, Although the stem cells appeared safe, extended monitoring of study participants will allow assessment of the long-term effects of stem cells on renal allograft function, survival, and safety.